Every year or so, uh, we get videos, including from myself, oh my gosh, the Call of Duty killer. This game could take Call of Duty down, and it never happens. And here we are again with the same mantra, the same topic when it comes to who can dethrone the FPS giant. Well, I don't know if this is the one, but what I do know is that this is something that my, my viewers will probably enjoy. What is up everybody, Chaos here. What you are seeing on the screen right now is gameplay from Iron Sight, which is a free FPS game that is on PC. And this isn't new, this isn't breaking, it's been out for a while in beta, it's actually been around for a couple years now. But, but, as of the making of this video, about three hours ago, they just out of nowhere dropped it version 1.0 on Steam for free. Let me repeat that. This is Iron Sight, an FPS game that is free to play on Steam. Now, there are no talks yet about ports coming to Xbox or PS4, but if it does well, there could be. And uh, let's call it what it is, okay? Let's not try to sugarcoat this. This is a COD clone. Uh, specifically, it looks like it takes heavy, heavy, heavy inspiration from Black Ops 2. But that's not a bad thing. That's not a negative thing at all, because if you're going to take inspiration from a Call of Duty game, Black Ops 2 is not a bad way to go. If you, if you agree, let me know. Drop a like. And, uh, oh yeah, random thought really quick, guys. Holidays are here. Promo code CHAOS for anything G Fuel is 30% off, including the new Dub Melon Mint flavor that dropped today and the new TSM Shakers. Link is at the top of the description. You tweet at me if you take advantage of it. So... What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go over some key points about Iron Sight, and you guys let me know if you think this could actually be a COD competitor in 2020. The one huge thing, it actually has two good things going for it. Yes, it copied Call of Duty. You're going to look at it and be like, wow, this is a carbon copy of Call of Duty, right? Specifically Black Ops 2. That's not a bad thing, like I said. This is super clean. It's polished. It's simple yet refined. The other thing is, it's free to play. That's right. Hey, you can have a game that not everybody likes, but if it's free to play, most people will give it a try. So, let's go over some key points about Ironsight. You guys, let me know if you're going to download it, if you're going to try it. This isn't a sponsored video. I don't know these people. My buddy Joe reached out and said, we were doing a video. We're doing a video about games that could take down Call of Duty in 2020, specifically FPS games, and Ironsight was on there. And Joe was like, dude, this game should drop anytime. He predicted it, and then it dropped today, and it was free. So uh, there is no sponsorships or anything here, but I am going to dive into this myself. This is actually Joe's gameplay. But if you guys would like to see more videos about it, you let me know in the comment section uh, and drop a like. So the time to kill is actually pretty long. It's somewhere, it's not Black Ops 2. It's more somewhere around uh, Black Ops 4. So I don't know if that's something you'll like, or if that's something that you wouldn't like that would turn you off. Drones actually replace score streaks, but they are score streaks, okay? They're less important than they were in BO2, but they're still fun and they still reward good gameplay. So when you see drones, it's score streaks. There's, there's no difference, okay? Objective play is super, super heavily rewarded uh, for your drone. So instead of being solely based on the score, your streaks are on a timer, which is a cooldown, okay? It's kind of like a specialist ability. This means you will get all your streaks eventually, but getting kills and playing the objective will speed up that process. So that is something that is definitely, definitely different from what you're used to with Call of Duty. So far, six game modes available. Team Deathmatch, Secure Point, which is kind of like King of the Hill, Frontline, which is kind of like Control from Black Ops 4, Search and Destroy is in the game. I know a lot of you are going to like that. Resource Takeover, which is a unique mode. I'm not even really sure what to compare that one to. And Capture the Flag which is what it is. Matchmaking uses the playlist systems like in Modern Warfare 2019. So you don't queue for a specific game mode, but rather you filter what mode you do or don't want to play. A lot of people are not fans of this. I get it. I understand. But there is, get this, there is map voting. So yeah, there's that. We won't even go down that road, but there is map voting. 
Reload animations are all, they're, they're pretty long. It incentivizes using fast reload perks, which are in the game. And you can master the animation cancels just like Black Ops, just like, just like Call of Duty. All this stuff is going to be very, very familiar to a lot of Let's talk about audio for a second. This is probably one of the turnoffs. It needs tuning. Now, it's not uncommon to get run up on without hearing the enemy at all. So that is something they would definitely need to find too. But once again, this is version 1.0 just dropped today. This game is totally aim-based. If you guys have a good aim, you're going to do well. If you can't aim, like me, we're in trouble. We're probably going to get stomped on. So, uh, yeah, you need to adapt and learn how to aim. It is totally aim-based. The game, I told you guys in the beginning, it's polished and refined. It runs great. So, Joe was playing this on a GTX 1070, and he was getting well over 100 FPS on ultra settings. So, if you're looking for a polished, good-looking game... Look no further. Now, weapon rolls are very important in this game. SMGs are hit marker machines. They are past close range, which, okay, that's normal. But their dominant close range and ARs are the exact opposite. So they kind of play into the strengths and weaknesses that they should. If you're playing capture the flag, the spawns are really bad, just like in COD. So there's that. Those match that. You can't sprint to cancel a reload. You have to do a YY, which is a little bizarre. And it takes a little getting used to. But it does work for balancing. And finally, snipers. They're a little too powerful right now, which a lot of you are going to smile about. I know they have the, they have, well, they have the Black Ops 4 problem where it's way too easy to get a one shot kill with them in a game that's supposed to have a longer time to kill, which it does with all the other weapons. So eh, that'll have to be something they look at. Those are some key points that you can take away uh, when you're playing Iron Sight. Go download it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm more excited if you guys enjoy it. Maybe it's something we could actually produce some content for on the channel. I'll leave you guys with the gameplay. Make sure to take advantage of G Fuel promo code CHAOS. 30% off all the way through Christmas. I'll see you guys soon.